Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Deluxe Class Hoist from Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. Really nice artwork here on the side. I like this a lot. They're really crushing it with the artwork. I mean Siege did too, but it's continuing which I appreciate. Really cool artwork here on this side as well. Pretty much the left side of every package. Well, left side if you're thinking about it from this way. Right side if you're thinking about it from this way. In any case, here's the bottom, here's the top. Not too much going on. On the back, robot mode, vehicle mode. It shows how he has a piece that can kind of be like a connecting ramp. So you could connect that to uh, that shield battle master that I haven't found yet. Or like ironworks. So it's all that same connection port. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to do it for packaging. Let's go ahead, open this guy up, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Hoist out of the packaging. He looks pretty good. I will say, though, that like he's got some hollow back of the legs over here, and really his like entire torso is hollow, which is a little goofy. Not a huge problem or anything, but definitely makes him feel... I mean, he's definitely big, but he feels a little hollow in spots. Uh, he does come with this, like, nozzle piece, uh, which you can see has this long peg that can fit into his fist. Because if you remember the character from the original show, he didn't have two fists. He had one hand that was, like, a multi-purpose nozzle of some kind. So, if you'd like to recreate that here, you certainly can. But if you want him to have two uh, full hands, you can do that as well. So, it's nice that they give you the option there. So, he looks pretty good. Love the color scheme. Uh, the face sculpt's always reminded me of Grimlock. I know he's got kind of like shades instead of just like a straight visor, but I always thought it looked kind of similar. But, nice paint. Head sculpt looks good. Head is on a ball joint, so you can move that up and down, side to side. Uh, shoulders swivel here, and then he has a pin, so he just swivels, but then he has bicep swivel. Uh, over 90 degrees in the elbow, wrist swivel. The only problem is if you want to like put the arm forward, there's really no way to not have this come up. And uh, it's not great. So kind of what you'd have to do is like do maybe something like this. Like, you know, bend it at the elbow or something if you don't want that piece like sticking straight out and looking really awkward. That's really my only complaint. I don't mind them being there. I don't mind the look of them. I just wish there wasn't just a pin here so that this piece could bend straight out and leave that flat down. That's the only thing I wish. Um, he does have waist swivel. He has normal hips out to the side, front to back, thigh swivel. He has actually two knees. So he's got that double knee articulation. And then, of course, he's got the ankle tilt. So, like I said, overall, I think he's a cool-looking figure. He's definitely bulky. And I like the look of them. I just wish... I feel like there's no reason this had to be a pin. I feel like they could have given us a joint so that this could have bent out. Like, I understand why this has to exist, but... I feel like this could have bent out straight, but unfortunately that's not what happened. But he's got plenty of these connector ports here, here, down here on the leg. He's got one here on the side. Two on the back. Two on the bottom of his feet. So, decent amount all around. Like I said, I like the look of him. And I mean, Hoist, the original, was never really meant... Like, he's kind of like a science guy, like a builder. You know, he's not super combat guy, so... Having a little bit less articulation, I guess, makes a little bit of sense. And like, I like... Like, just like this, like, right here, I like the kind of bulk to him. So, I think he looks very cool. And it's definitely very G1 accurate. Very accurate to the original cartoon, to the original toy... So I do like that about him. It's got a bit of a backpack, but it's not too bad. I don't feel like there's a ton of kibble or anything hanging off of him except for these. So yeah, robot mode, pretty good. We'll go ahead, we'll get into the transformation. Alright, so what I did was remove the like nozzle piece from the hand because you have to take that off for the vehicle mode. What you're going to do is start by unpegging this piece here. Now this, this piece moves around a little bit. It should kind of stay pegged in decently, like it's not going to come flying out. But it's easy to grab that by accident instead of actually grabbing this whole piece and unpegging the whole backpack and then kind of bringing it down 
so that's a little bit away. You can fold these pieces down like so, kind of fold that back a little bit. That should give you enough clearance to rotate the head 180 degrees into the body. And then that sits flush like that. And then this will just kind of hang out for now. Um, you're going to come over here and unpeg the chest. It's going to become the hood of the car, obviously, and just kind of bring that up here and get that out of the way. Come down here, make sure that the ankles are not tilted. And then you're going to rotate this and you'll see that deep in here, there is a tiny peg spot right there. And that's gonna peg into this white tab on the back of his thigh. So you just bring that in. And that's going to peg in. Usually you hear like a very obvious click. There you go, that one went in. And now we'll do the same for the other. There it is. You have to make sure that the knees are lined up straight, but then they'll go in. So as you can see, this wants to fold in here. <laughs> this piece is going to go all the way in there, and the orange piece is actually going to go into the green piece. Like that. You'll hear a click, and you'll see how that's kind of down in there. So it looks a little bit like a garbled mess at this point, but I promise it's going to get better. So you're going to slide these up. You're going to want to bring the arms up forward like this. And this is like what I consider the hardest part. And you can leave these legs down if it helps you, but make sure that this is pegged all the way in. Make sure that orange part is flush in there. You have to bring this down, but the arms have to clear like this orange part that was his waist. So this has to come down and it's kind of difficult to do. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you have to rotate these rotate them out 90 degrees that makes it easier now you can get this and it has to kind of fit in between the orange thing so like that so rotate that bring this in and get that in there there you go okay you can leave this out of the way for now this is gonna come up and the way they have this and this is a little weird to me you have this little kind of rectangular tab and they just want you to put it into this connector port like you would use for the battle masters and, and various things so that's kind of weird to me but there you go so now that's up when you bring this down there's two tabs right here which are going to peg in there and there on the feet as well as tabs here that are going to peg into here on the backpack so this is a little difficult to do but you have to bring this in Get this all the way tight as you can, and then kind of make sure everything goes in. So that pegs in, that pegs in, that kind of sits in there, while at the same time pushing this in here. So it's just a lot of stuff to line up, but once you do, it all lines up pretty nicely and stays pretty solid. Mostly the connection into the legs right here keeps it the most solid but everything else is pretty good when you're done. At this point, you're pretty much done. Uh, you're just going to kind of bring the arms down like this, bring this piece up. Actually, I guess before you do that, you should bring this down and that will snap into place. And then push these in as much as you can because these green pieces that were the shoulders, like the uh, biceps have to kind of go in a little bit so that these will sit but still clear the wheels. Let's see. Move the camera around a little bit. So you can see it rolls pretty decently and it looks good. I think the like hazard uh, sticker there on the side, it's not a sticker, it's painted, but you know the, the black and yellow hazard there is pretty cool. Lines up nicely. Uh, if you would like to take this piece and plug it in onto the side here, the directions show you doing that. So there you go. Uh, this you can kind of move to the side and then this can lift up. And then come down. And you can actually bring it down. It'll kind of lock in place down there. So I believe he's meant to be a tow truck. 
I think that's what originally he was. Uh, you know, you would hook the car's front tires to this and then he would tow you. But they've got uh, this piece here. So if you wanted to take, like, this is just the piece from the back of uh, Ironworks, just to show you. You can tab that in there. And then he's just got an extra long piece to drag along behind. But for some reason, like I said, if you wanted to hook this to Ironworks and then have him, like, be hooked to, like, the ramp of the... I mean, I don't know why you do that, but you can. <laughs> he does hook in. They just wanted to make it so that, you know, all these figures have these connectability ports, even though some of them don't really make sense, but... Oops, I have this wrong. And then that just kind of sits back in there, and then you can close this back up. So, I think it works. I mean, he does have that, like, battle damage again, which I, I thought we were done with. It's the only place that he has it. The front looks nice. All the rest of the body's clean. Just that little bit there on the hood, which I think is weird. But I love the Autobot symbol. Very bright. Paint's perfect. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I like the robot mode. I like the vehicle mode. Like I said, that transformation is just a little dicey to me when you have to get those arms in. But once you do, everything clicks into place. And I think this... Like, I, I wish they just had a tab or or maybe just forego this because i feel like this and this are enough but having to make sure that this fits into the weird because it doesn't really fit in there it just kind of like sits in that empty circle and it doesn't really help at all because it doesn't tab in it just kind of sits in there so it's just like another weird thing to line up but overall when he's together he's pretty solid so i think hoist is okay like i said him in robot mode just kind of in a cool pose he looks good i think like i like the stance i like the overall bulkiness of the character the color scheme is great i like the head sculpt autobot symbol nice paint and everything i still think the little bit of battle damage here around the torso is weird i kind of thought we were past that but everything else about him just aesthetically looks good um there's just a couple things holding him back from being like great or perfect uh, the torso being kind of empty is not a huge problem because really you don't notice it that much in robot mode, but it is kind of weird. Uh, the back of the legs being hollow, not great, but not terrible. Um, the arm articulation, like I don't mind these pieces hanging down in the back of the arms. I kind of think they look neat, but I just, all they would have had to do is give us that joint here in the shoulder instead of a pin so that when you wanted to like pose the arm this way you don't have this weird piece of plastic just jetting out uh like i don't mind the wings i actually kind of think they're cool i just wish you could leave them here and still get full range of motion in the shoulder so um that paired with the fact that like transforming the arms is a little weird because you kind of have to like line them up perfectly and then make sure they fit past that piece of orange plastic for his uh, belt or torso or whatever that is i guess it's actually part of the backpack i don't know um Again, not huge deal breakers, but just things that hold him back from being perfect. Uh, I think the robot mode looks cool once you get him into a cool pose. And I do think the vehicle mode looks good. It rolls nice. It actually looks good once you get it. And it holds together fairly solid, so that's good. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, he's just kind of not my... He's probably my least favorite of the wave. And it's not because he's terrible. It's just because I really like Wheeljack, Cliff Jumper, and Ironworks. And hoist is just kind of okay so if you're on a budget i'd pick up the others first but you know if you have the means or if he's on sale i think he's still worth picking up because like i said overall he looks good just a couple things holding him back from being a really great toy so that's going to do it for this one please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thank you so much for watching